Hey guys, so today I am out in the woods uh, during late archery season to try and maybe procure a little bit of venison, kind of a last ditch effort. Uh, we just had a snowstorm, so I'm hoping to get in uh, back on these trails over here, see if I can run across a pair of tracks and follow them up. Hopefully there's a deer at the end. So basically, um, trip here wasn't too bad. The roads were all right. Um, I, the road out here isn't necessarily great and the fact that I'm driving this <laughs> so you can see I mean it's pretty pretty deep snow for a little fiesta but yep yeah, basically this is just uh, state land I'll try and focus up here so we'll see give you guys kind of a shot of the woods out here it's really 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 pretty so all right so yeah this is kind of out where I hunt I'm gonna be walking a lot today it's the middle of the day so likely the deer won't be moving but I could hunt either side of this but usually I hunt the south side uh, it's just what I'm most familiar with, so, all right. So, I, uh, been out here following some coyote tracks for about, I don't know, an hour and a half or so, and, uh, I haven't really seen a whole lot, uh, haven't even come across one deer trail, but we have had a lot of problems with coyotes out here. Um, my dad and my brother and I got, uh, harassed by a, a bunch of them, actually, um, when we were dragging a deer out of the woods during early archery season. So... Uh, I know I'd gotten pretty close to him. Uh, you can see he took off in a hurry here. You can kind of see where he'd brushed up against a tree, smacked off some of the bark. And this is pretty recent because all this stuff is laying right on top of the snow. He had broken this branch right over here scattered all this bark out of the way and there's the tracks likely he's holed up back in that thicket uh, back there somewhere uh, yeah I, I have a feeling it was pretty soon uh, before I came through here I thought I'd heard something tear through the brush but yeah you never know so I haven't seen a whole lot of deer tracks until now. Finally picked up a little trail. It looks a little bit older though. Here, I'll show you. See these 
got tracks here. That's definitely deer. And you can tell it's a little bit older. See how the snow is rounded over there on the side of that track as opposed to if I was to um, make an imprint myself. See how that has sharp edges and that's rolled over. That tells me that that deer was through here um, before this morning. So there's a chance that it's bedded up on the side of the ridge, on the other side of that ridge there, um, quite a ways. We'll see. But uh, just because the tracks are old doesn't mean that the deer still isn't back there. It's, uh, there's a chance that it just came through earlier in the morning when it was still snowing, um, like way early this morning. Uh, they have a tendency to come through the, um, they have a tendency to kind of bed down early uh, this late in the season, ruts over, and I still have one tag left. Good evening everyone, happy December 14th. Um, it is like 8.30 at night, I think, almost 9 o'clock. Um, I worked from 9 to 5.30 today, then I went did some Christmas shopping after work. Um, and then I uh, just got home, we, we got some pizza and just kind of been taking it easy. Um, Thankfully, Ethan um, took the camera out the, to the woods with him today, so um, he was able to get some footage because I always have a hard time on days that I work on being able to get um, footage done up, especially now that it's getting closer to Christmas. There's just so many things I'm trying to um, accomplish before the big day, so. Um, but I thought I would share a little bit of knitting just because. Um, yesterday, when I was hanging out with Caitlin, um, I finished the toe on my vintage Christmas socks, but I haven't Kitchenered the top yet. So I just need to do that tonight. I was too tired last night to do it. I was just, that's how tired I was. I couldn't even Kitchener a toe. Um, and then today I have been working on my uh, sock blank socks. And um, so this is a sock blank from Nitty and Color. And this is the second sock of this pair. So I'm really close to being done. And, um, that'll be the last of my vanilla socks that are on the needles, so, um, just in time for the Christmas Eve cast on, although I was kind of debating on casting on a different project for the Christmas Eve cast on, like a pair of mittens, um, but I think I'm gonna cast on a pair of socks, it'll, uh, it'll, I'll just have to wait and see, but, um, I think I'm gonna cast on a pair of socks, so we'll see. But, yeah, I think I'm gonna leave it, um, here for tonight, and, um, yeah, I'm just going to go get this edited, and then I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.